How long is too long for bronchitis? Oh, oh, that's a good, yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. Bronchitis, what happens is you get inflammation of the upper airways. And that inflammation can have you coughing sometimes for a week, two weeks, or more mm -hmm. after the illness. Mm -hmm. The it's infection almost, is resolved. It's almost like a little mini case of uh, temporary asthma. But here's one of my pet peeves. I, I don't know how many times I've got a phone call. I've got bronchitis. I need the antibiotics. Most people think bronchitis equals antibiotics, but bronchitis is almost always a virus. Mm -hmm. And so in that case, bronchitis doesn't mean antibiotics. But, but Dr. Orton, I love it when we talked about this before and you talked about post-nasal drip, mm. how it gets in the airways. It irritates your, the lining of your respiratory tract. Right. That's what causes this bronchitis, this inflammation. Because it goes down, exactly. Mm -hmm. So what you're trying to treat is the inflammation, not necessarily the infection, because almost always bronchitis, unless you have underlying pulmonary disease, will resolve on its own. But sometimes what will benefit you is an anti-inflammatory. Sometimes people, if it just goes on and on, you may go see your doctor, your doctor may prescribe some steroids for a brief period of time. Right. A lot of people don't understand. There is a difference between infection and inflammation, and mm -hmm. people think it's one and the same, but it's not. And the one, the one thing I will say is bronchitis or reactive airway disease, if you're two plus weeks out and you have other symptoms, then we start to worry about pneumonia. If you're having fever, we mm -hmm. talked before, if you're having these <laughs> other symptoms of just, you don't feel good. If all you have is reactive airway disease because of a, an illness and bronchitis, you're gonna feel pretty good. You're just gonna keep coughing. You're just gonna cough, cough, cough. Mm -hmm. We need to tamp down that inflammation. But I'll tell you, you always talk about this. If you have fever and these other things, then maybe you do need an antibiotic yeah. because right. it could be a pneumonia.